Uh, I'm just after culling a few fallow and I've come across something that uh, gives me a reason for concern. A concern means I've come across something that is abnormal. And abnormal here I've spotted in this, it's about a two, three year old uh, fallow doe. I, I've taken both of them out um, and we're culling in this area. But what I really want to show you is the concerns I have. Here we have a liver. Large indication here of there is something wrong. Now I'm suspecting liver fluke, so. And I'm correct. There they are. They're still alive. And you can see them. That's liver fluke. So now you know what liver fluke is like. And I apologise, this morning I forgot the gloves and I recommend that you do wear gloves. But you have to make do on this occasion. And I have sanitised the back of the car so I wash and sanitise my hands. But here you can see what liver fluke is like. It's a parasite that lives in the liver. And this is a very severe case of it. It has also caused tumours on the liver here and I suspect if we turn over that the gland will be swollen on the back of the liver and yes the gland is swollen. Not pus filled but it's swollen. That indicates there's a problem actually with the liver. The rest Everything else seems fine. I've checked everything else. This will not impact on the carcass and the carcass will be safe. But on the declaration form, I would note that it had a severe case of liver fluke. And if you squeeze that area, they will just pop out. That's where they're living, inside, in the liver. Quite disgusting. But again, I apologise. I have some gloves on me and it's an opportunity to fill them such a severe case of liver fluke. You can see them moving around here. This is liver fluke in a two, three year old fellow. They're actually coming out there now. Um, so we'll dispose of this, but this is a very good opportunity to show you what liver fluke likes, looks like and what to watch out for. Usually you get this kind of marking, which indicates it, but I've never had one as severe as this. It doesn't impact on the carcass, but the liver is definitely not fit for human consumption. Okay, I hope you found that interesting and helpful.